Hello guys, in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to put your game online using WebGL because as you may know the previous web player is no longer supported right now I have it re I have it here but that's because I have Unity 5.3 on Unity 5.4 this option will disappear you will only have this option to put, put your game online so as you can see I have here my game pretty simple game all you can do is move to the sides and if you click you can jump this is just to check that uh, all the mouse and keyboard are working even if you build this and put it on the web anyways let's go into file build settings and make sure that you if you have on any other platform click on this one and press switch platform then go to player settings and there's a couple of settings that you may want to change or not these are important ones the screen width and height this can also be changed later on the HTML file that is generated, but you can also change it here. Of course, you also have the template. You can have minimal, which is it only shows the game, a, a blank page with only the game, or this one where you, it shows you the game and some buttons and saying it was done with Unity. All the rest is not important, so this is it. So make sure you have the settings that you want. I'll leave it at default with this uh, screen width and height. We need to build it and let's create here a folder for it webgl tutorial select the folder and it will build to it uh, my, in my pc this will take a bit so i'll speed this up okay and a thousand years later we got here uh, the files that were generated which is, are all of these files so the next step is to put this online so go to your google drive account i got mine uh, opened right here of course if you don't have one i think it, everyone that has a google account has one anyways open it up and then drag all of these files into a new folder so we can just drag the whole folder into here and this will create a new folder for us with all of those files in it And let's wait a bit. Once that's done, right click on that folder, click on share, go to advanced and change the privacy to on so that anyone that has the link can access it. Save and just like that you made your game public to everyone. Now you just need to give the link to the people you want. Now to the link is not this one over here because if you'll give people this link they will just go to this and this is not your game you want to go to your game so we have to copy this last part after the folder so this little code copy it and instead of having this you have, you have to put here google drive dot com slash host slash the code that you just copied and paste it in and then this will go into another address and it will open he up here your game uh, you just have to wait a bit and sometimes it may have an error where this doesn't load well in that case you just refresh the page which is what, what just happened to me anyways as you can see right now it loaded automatically and as you can see now we have our game here and if I press any of the keys uh, any of the keys or the button on my mouse the game works and that's it this is how you put your game online and now you can of course shorten this link and send it to anyone you want to share the game with and that's it for today guys thank you for watching i hope this was helpful and see you in the next video